We need to write the numbers below in order from smallest to largest. So in our first set of numbers, we have 671, 67, 706, 660, and 716. Now 67 is a two-digit number, but all of our other numbers are three-digit numbers. And if a number has fewer digits, and it's a whole number, it will be smaller. So our smallest number is 67, because it doesn't have a hundreds digit. Then, if we look at our hundreds digits, because remember, we compare numbers by comparing the larger place values first. So first comparing our hundreds before we compare our tens or ones. We have two numbers with six hundreds and two numbers with seven hundreds. So if we focus on the numbers with six hundreds to decide which number is next smallest, we need to look across at our tens digit. Here we have seven tens, but here we only have six tens. So 660 is our next smallest number, and then we have 671. So that leaves us with these two numbers, which both have seven hundreds. So again, we need to look across at our tens digits. Here we have a zero, and in this number we have one as our tens digit. So that means 706 is next smallest, and then our largest number is 716. Now we have 405. 504, 44, 405, 454. So again, 44 is only a two digit number, so it doesn't have a hundreds digit. But all of our other numbers are three digit numbers, so our smallest number is 44. Now, if we compare the hundreds digits, we have 4, 5, 4, and 4. So, we know that 504 must be our largest number because it has the largest number of hundreds. So now, we have three numbers that all have four hundreds. So what we need to do is compare the tens digits. We have 0, 0, and 5. That means that this number with five tens must be second largest, and then if we look at our remaining two numbers, this number has five ones, but this number only has four. So 404 is next smallest, and then we have 405. So let's take a look at the numbers we compared. In this first set, our smallest number was 67, so that's six tenths and seven ones. Then we had 660, so six hundreds and six tens. Then 671, so six hundreds, seven tens, and one one. Then we had 706, so seven hundreds and six ones. And then our largest number was 716, so seven hundreds, one ten, and six ones. Then, for our next set, our smallest number was 44, which only has four tenths and four ones. Then, 404, which has four hundreds and four ones. Then, 405, so with five ones. Then, 454, so four hundreds, five tenths, and four ones. And our largest number, because it had the most hundreds, was 504, so that's 500s and 4 ones.